Hello, welcome to Level Chain Channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca. I'm a real uh, Boeing pilot, and right now I fly the Boeing 777. So this video is a mix of uh, some information about the 777 flight controls and the excitement provided by the near launch of the upcoming PMDG 777. So I hope that with this video. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel and I can tell you from a real 777 pilot perspective uh, some things and how to fly uh, the 777 in your simulator. So stay tuned for more videos on the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with the 777 from PMDG very soon. If you are curious about the 777 operation, you can also check my previous videos about the 777 and some of them on the Prepare 3D, uh, some of them uh, videos like this one where I can show you a couple of things about the 777 uh, system. So, uh, first thing that I want to tell you is that uh, we do have something called Flaperon on the Boeing 777. This is not common on most of the airplanes. What is a Flaperon? Flaperon is a mix of aileron and flaps uh, that are used to control uh, the row and the lift of uh, the 777 in this case. So basically, uh, what I have here on this side of the screen is the 777 flight controls synodic page in flight, okay? Uh, and when we talk about the wing, uh, we can see that on the far sides of the wing, we have something called uh, L, left, Alpha India Lima, left Aileron, and on the other side, uh, Romeo, right, Alpha India Lima, Aileron. So these are the Aileron for the airplane. It works only at low speed. At high speeds on the Boeing 777, the Aileron's, they are locked. Due to the span of the wings, to avoid high loads, those aileron's they are locked in a, in a symmetric position with the wings, okay? So, uh, the airplane do not use the aileron's to control the row movements in high speeds. What uh, it's used is mainly the flaperon's that you can see uh, further down uh, the the wing. So you can see here on this screen the Lima left flaperon and on the right wing of course the right flaperon. Okay, so these flaperons they are a mix of flaps so they extend as the flaps extend and they retract as the flaps retract and they also move up and down to just like the aileron to control the row movements of the airplane. Okay, so basically what we have uh, between uh, on the left and right side of the flaperon are the standard flaps for this airplane, okay? So basically, if you think about the airplane uh, from the fuselage itself, as you go towards the wing, you are going to have a small section of flaps only, then you are going to have another small sections of flaperons, which is this mix of aileron's and flaperons, then you have a bigger section of flaps, and then after the flaps, as you go outboard, you are going then to have the aileron's. So, in a situation uh, of this uh, video that is being in loop for you, uh, you will see that we have some turbulence, it's not much, and then you can see the displacement of the flaperon uh, trying to maintain the wings level and the constant uh, track uh, for this flight. Uh, of course, the spoilers also help us to control uh, the, the row of the airplane, but uh, usually in high speed, high altitudes, uh, they are not used. Actually, the spoilers, they are going to come into action as a row assist only when you have a larger deflection of the control wheel, okay? So, usually when you fly small inputs by the pilot or by the autopilot, do not extend the spoilers to 
uh, help uh, controlling the roll of the airplane so you are basically at high speeds only using the flaperon and in this case you can see that uh, they do it asymmetrically in the opposite direction uh, from each other just like the ailerons do okay so this kind of maneuver and this kind of of uh, flight controls behavior is something that we are going to check on the PMDG uh, 777 when it's available. I'm pretty sure the airplane is going to behave like this on the simulator because on prepared 3D it already does. Okay. Uh, one thing though that I want to consider uh, is that I try to simulate this level of turbulence that I encountered uh, in the video uh, here on the left on the prepared 3D which is considered to be one of the most uh, physical accurate simulator okay uh, and the PMDG did not respond as expected or did not respond as the air real airplane okay I could notice, yes, the ailerons, they are locked as they were supposed to be. The spoilers are not being deployed as they were not supposed to be. But the flapper on movement is uh, not as big as we can see on this uh, video here. Okay, so basically on the prepared 3D, the turbulence was generating much more uh, elevator deflection and rudder deflection than the flaperon deflection itself okay so i'm not planning to see this amount of deflection on the microsoft flight simulator as well for the flaperon okay at some stages you can see if you pay attention to the video here on your left you can see that uh, the left flaperon goes all the way up and stays there for one or two seconds before uh, moving back to neutral and even uh, to the down position at some point okay so if we pay attention you see now the flapper on is at the left one is at full deflection and now it's coming back uh, to the neutral position and then of course the right one is moving in the opposite direction so I didn't see that amount of deflection in the prepared 3d I do not expect to see in the Microsoft flight simulator so this uh, physical thing is still not there in our home simulators uh, I'm not expecting to see it uh, really soon but what I'm expecting to see is that at least system wise the airplane will behave perfectly locking the uh, ailerons and leaving only the flaperons to work and control the row movement of the 777 at high speeds okay so I hope you like this video I hope now you know what is a flaperon the why it's been used on the 777 uh, how it's used and I also hope you can once again if you didn't do subscribe to this channel and activate the notifications so uh, you will be advised when I bring new videos new content for the Boeing 777 as a real world 777 pilot Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.